Okay, so this member happiness has asked the question that when we measure the arterial and blood pressure, why we need to keep the transducer at the heart level, to be specific, the right atrium level. So understand that the heart is the organ which squeezes with immense force the blood into the aorta and it generates the blood pressure uh, of the body. It is generating and all, also other contributive factors, the vascular tone and other factors, fluid, fluid uh, are there. But it is the generating organ which is generating the uh, blood pressure with a force. Now, it exerts a hydrostatic pressure at the transducer. So it is just like that. Suppose you have a motor in your garden and then uh, water motor in your garden and you have pipe attached to it. So if you put the pipe above to as compared to the motor, the pressure in the pipe will fall. If you keep the pipe below the uh, motor, then the pressure will increase in the pipe. So similarly, suppose this is the patient and we have kept this patient at the transducer at the heart level. Now, suppose this patient is propped up for any procedure or any physio or any anything food, uh, oral feeds like this. Now, what happens? The heart has gone up and the transducer has gone down. So, there will be a false high systolic blood pressure reading on the monitor. Now, opposite scenario. Suppose you have uh, leveled the uh, transducer at the heart level in the proper position. And now, you have supine the patient. So what happened? The transducer remains above and the patient uh, heart level has gone down. So because the transducer at the above level, the hydrostatic pressure changes and now you will get a false low systolic blood pressure reading on the monitor. So how much change it will happen? So for every 2.5 centimeter change in the uh, difference in the level of transducer and the heart level, there is a 1.8 mm of Hg difference in the blood pressure. So suppose if we change the, uh, if there is a difference of above or below 2.5 centimeter of uh, difference between the heart and the transducer, the blood pressure, systolic blood pressure will change by 1.8 or 2. You may feel that is, it is uh, very minimal, but suppose this is a proper, this patient is propped up and now we have flattened the patient. At times it is somewhere around 10, 12 uh, centimeter change or maybe more than that, or there is an infusion pump where there is a variation in the transducer level. So suppose for a 10 mm, uh, 10 centimeter change or difference in the heart level and the transducer, the blood pressure, systolic blood pressure can have, can be changed by 8 mm of Hg. At times, it, this difference is huge. So that's why for to neutralize the hydrostatic pressure exerted by the heart on the transducer, we kept the transducer at the heart level while we measure the arterial blood pressure. Hope this clarifies. Do read more about it.